morning, Wednesday. Are you ready? It's a good day. Woo! To wake up and take some time for that self-care right here. Y'all ready? Let's go, let's go. Good morning. What's up? What's up? Of course, I like slightly move this, and I'm like, no. Nope. There we go. Boom. Happy, happy Woo. Wednesday, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to take 45 minutes to tune out of so much and just tune in. That body right here, getting ready to work, coming into it, guys. So. For equipment, I'm gonna go over it, guys. You guys are gonna grab your heavy booty band, your extra light one, so two opposite sides of the spectrum. Oh, yeah, I love it, I love it. You guys, <laughs> love the little fireplace. So, um, we are gonna be doing heavy booty band, extra light booty band, and those gliders. I wish I could fully take credit on the playlisting, honestly. Um, huge shout out to my fam over at like work in Irvine. They were like, now you have to check this out. Like you can't be on Spotify. It's gonna be kicking you off right and left. Like use, I'll tell you guys, use Fit Radio. And this is like the big booty misses with it. But it's cool because they do like clean edited ones and stuff. Not that like, I'm so the person that like in a workout, if it's like drop in and like, I, I don't even register or notice it, but like, I don't know why when I'm teaching and like I hear like it. And also in your guys' home, I have no idea if you guys have like two or three year olds like running around. So I try to keep the music a little clean, <laughs> but um, hanging on to it here. All right guys, so jumping in, jumping in. Let's go ahead and go over that equipment. Get ready to move. We're gonna get the body going. All right. Ooh. Good. There we go. How's everyone doing? What's up, Drink Up Freak? I had my mint, uh, my mint chocolate protein, uh, my mint and chip one. If you guys haven't seen the freeze ones, it's so good. I like save it for dessert. I had it over the weekend. I was like craving something. It was perfect. Okay guys, we got just about two minutes before we kick off. The time will start for that 45 minute workout. So as you guys are coming into that, breathe it out and leave that space right here. Now, just because I don't know what it has been the last few days we have had like our front yard right there. We have had like gardeners and deliveries and different things and poor busters have like a heart attack every time. So I'm gonna put them away before we start. But he can come say hi before. Come here guys, come say hi really quick. Come say hi and then you're gonna go away. You're gonna go away. Say hello. Hi, people. Hello. Hello. Okay. Oh, and laying down. He's like already down for belly scratches. Go over there. Go to your spot. Good boy. Oh. All right. He's such a love. Um, so, yeah, that's Buster if you guys haven't met. So, if this is your first time here, what's up? My name is Meg. Um, probably should have gotten into that earlier. You are gonna be doing a 45 minute full body. Burn. So we're going everything, it's slow resistance style training. So that means that as we work through the muscle groups here, I'm gonna get you into movement quickly, but as soon as you're there, you're gonna be there for longer than you wanna be. Um, so don't worry about it. If it takes you a second, if you're like, what's that move going on? I'm gonna explain it. I'm gonna give modifications all throughout. You already did the hard part. You made the time, you made the space. You know that's the big deal, just getting here and showing up. So we're gonna take 45 minutes to love on those bodies. Sound good? All right, I love you guys. Uh, go ahead and yes, go ahead and hit the center of your screen to drop those comments if you need to right there. Um, it's kind of like my only way to communicate with you guys. So when you guys tell me like, hey, your mic's cutting out, there's different things. If I see comments coming up, I know I can adjust something. Um, so just trying to give you know, that premium experience. Here we go. So it's heavy resistance band, not booty band lighter resistant band, extra light band, and a pair of gliders. That is it right here. We got band gliders going on and we're gonna put them to work. Taking that body out nice and long to start it out for me right here. Good, you guys, so I did the thing where I didn't fold my mat in half already. I know better, guys, I know better. All right, 
taking it out. We're gonna go ahead. Woo, start with that high plank position, guys. We're going into a high plank and then we're gonna take it right into a plank to pipe. So I want those sliders close and nearby. You can take both on two of them right here or just one, whatever is your preference. Y'all ready? Time is on, it is that time in three. Take it down to the mat in two. Hold on, volume. There it is. All right. And one. Let's go. Let's go. Push it out. Hold it all the way. High plank position right there. Please. Shoulders back and down out of the ears. Scoop and pull the top of the hip towards the bottom of the rib cage. As you do so right here, I want you to hug in those thumbs underneath that chest. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Let anything that does not need to be in this space go right here. This is your time. Settle into it. Let's get ready to work. Hips are going to come up tall. You guys are going to meet me for a four count right here. Level one, if that hip coming up is too much, I just want you to alternate into that mountain climber. Otherwise, hips go up, plank to pike up for four. Three, two, hold slowly, take it right back out. Three, two, pause up, four. Three, two, hold, take it down. Good, nice. So those heels are lifted up super, super tall. We're stacking, passing up. Woo! Away from the floor. Push. Lift, squeeze those inner thighs in towards each other. Inhale, take it right back out and away. Shoulders pull back and down away from the ears. Do it again. Exhale, pull up. Woo! Squeeze into it, squeeze into it. Ugh. Say right, let's go Wednesday. Come on, press it up. You got 30 seconds right here. Set the tone. Right into that midweek. Woo! What is that energy? What are you gonna create in this moment for you? What are you gonna decide? How you're gonna approach this workout. Woo, last 10. Hold that plank, hold it still. In three. Two, hold it right here, hold right here, breathe. Good, you guys, so I talk about it all the time. Intention is not what you do, it is the attitude, it is your mindset that you bring into it. So you pick a word, pick a phrase, pick something to hang on to that is gonna have you show up with your best for yourself this morning. We got just 10, woo! Breathing it out, stay in here for five. Flip it over, super crunch for me, you got three, two, one, woo! Heels down to the glider. You turn, take it back. Take it out, reach, hold. Exhale, pull through. Dig those heels down into that glider. Yes, take it out. So if you don't have a glider, no worries. In and out's right here. Cool. Taking it out. Level two. Arms are crossed up against that chest. So that's just going to be that little reach. Level three, take those arms up overhead so that those biceps come up by those ears scooping in with those low abs the whole time Woo. exhale draw it up good you guys level one is right here for me so this is your modification movement so if you're needing to just press and give it a little bit so that you can assist and get low and then taking it up that's fine you work at your level the important thing is that you continue to move and that you continue to keep that tension through the low abdominals, from top to bottom. So we're not stopping, we're just moving extremely slow. Woo. Push it out, inhale, take it out. Breathe it, hold it, pause, exhale, take it through. Squeeze those abs in, beautiful work guys, okay. Oh. Now if you're doing this and you're like, my glider just will absolutely not work on whatever surface it is, that's totally fine to use these as that slow in and out, pulling it up and in without that glider, okay? Hanging on to it, last 10. Woo! We're gonna put those gliders to work underneath those feet today, just cause we're gonna take it over, flipping it over into a bear, but you give a little hold for me in just another four. Meet me in a boat pose right here, so lift those heels up, hold, breathe. Shoulders out of the ears, core and tight. Can you drop it a little lower? Chin off the chest, take the gaze up. Can you drop a little lower? 15 seconds here. Woo! So I like to rotate just to that point where those low abs are fighting, hugging so dang low into that floor. 
Oh, because we're going to keep with the low abs, flipping it over for a bear. Hands to the mat, feet to the glider. Then five. Don't quit. Don't go just yet. In three, two, one. Flip it on over right here. Hands come down to the mat. Toes onto that glider. Those hands have had a rest. So those arms, those wrists, everything should feel nice and strong again. Stacking the upper body into that push-up type position. And then using the movement through the low abs. Draw and scoop that. I almost said carry. You guys know what I mean. Draw and scoop those gliders underneath you. Woo. Take it out. Breathe. Take it in. Woo. Squeeze it. Yes, you can. Take it out. Breathe. You got 30 seconds here. Say, bring the next back with the boom, boom. Hey. Woo. Push it out, push it out. You breathe for four, three, two, hold. Take it out again. Push those heels out again. Hold it, pause again, again. So strong right here. How many times can I say again? Woo. I guess for 15 more seconds, I can see how many times I can get it in. Because that's what you got for eight. Hang on to it, squeeze it out so dang good. We're gonna go right into that right oblique this morning, guys. Going in the form of that mermaid for me in three. Left knee comes down in two, one. Left knee down, right toe out. Take those hands back behind the ears. Inhale, reach hold, extending up. Stop before the top. Good. So in the effort of keeping those abs as the focus for our first portion of class, we're gonna come right into that right over. Meaning that the next few movements, all about that space in that waistline between the top of that right hip and bottom of the right rib. Lengthening it out right here. Hold it, reach the right hand up, tap the floor, twist it over. Tap it out, take it up. Reach it up, Tom. Go slow, scoop through. Little tap, little kiss to the floor with that fingertip. Reaching it back and through. So again, we're rotating. Woo! Through that waistline right here. 15 seconds. 15 seconds, my beautiful friends. Stay with it. Woo! Breathe it out. Oh my goodness, there we go. Last 10 seconds. Breathe it through. Yes, you can for eight, seven, six, five. Twist it over. Three little pulses at the bottom. Rotate. Can you take that right hand back? Little fold. Woo. We got just eight. Six. Hang on to it. Four. Meet me on the back. Three, two. Dance upside down. Dancing bear. On to that right side. So what you're gonna do is lay it down onto the back. Extend those legs all the way out. I want you to bend your knees over that left shoulder. Hold it in. Slowly take it out. Rotate back through center. Again, pull it over. Reach. Take it back out center. Pull, pause. Pull it on over. Good. Really, really use that engagement through the side of the body. And lengthen it out, keeping that core in check. Whew. There we go. So can you feel where those arms are reaching? I want energy into the hands so that you can peel up the shoulder blades from the floor. Whew. And then take it out long. Amazing. Hang on to it. 20 seconds. Here you go. Wednesday. Hang on to it. So where that mermaid, we were lengthening out that oblique. Now I want you to make a fist with it, pull it in tight, squeeze it, bring it out, then lengthen it out. Woo! Do it again, twist it out, go squeeze. Again, last time, we're gonna hold it all the way over for me here in four, three, two, let's go, a little process here, go squeeze. Woo! Squeeze. Yes, you can, that right. Forearms going down, side plank on the right in three, two, taking it down right here. Right forearm goes down, 
hold it up either in away from that body weight on those feet. Modify, take the knee down, extending out reach here. This is perfect. Wherever you need to be, you get settled into it, hold it strong. Pushing out those heels wet, squeezing, stacking yourself up. Biggest thing, I'm not falling into my low shoulder. Push up, extend, reach it long all the way. So it's like you're reaching every extremity whoo, as much as you can. Breathe it. Here we go, wave it up, lift, take it center, hold, four more, four more, go lift, take it center, three more, come on, take it up, Woo. push it back, yes, you guys right here, again, take it up, take it center, Last one, you hold it here, hold, hold, lengthen it out, because all we're gonna do is plant that right knee down, left foot comes out, mermaid on the left this time in three, two, one. Okay, so when you go oblique to oblique, it's extra tension into the center of abdominals, because even though we're working into that left oblique now with that mermaid on the left, you're still having to hold that core up in center. Woo. How's your posture? Can you think about perfect posture? Pull the shoulder blades back and down out of the ears. Point it light. That left toe is so light. It's just that little kickstand for me here. Taking it out. Breathe. Pull it up, sweet. Woo. Amazing job, you guys. That heart rate should be starting to pick up for me right now. Lean into it. Lean into that workout. If that mind started to drift from that goal, what you need to walk out of here with, bring it right back. Last 10 seconds. Woo, we're gonna tap that floor. Here we go in four, three, two. Reach it up, twist it down. Tap it, take it up. Reach it again, again, go low. Squeeze it up. Yes, Wednesday, take it down. Woo, how we doing? Good. Let's go, let's go. Three more. There's three. Woo, here we go, here we go for two. All the way over. Don't let yourself fall out of that form. The next time you twist it down, little pulses in three. Two, let's go, little twist. Little twist, bring it out right here, little twist. Yes, you can for five, four. Outside down that dancing bear. On the back, in three, two, one. Okay, so laying onto the back. This time those knees are gonna come over that right shoulder. So you're gonna lengthen it all the way out wall to wall. Bend into that left side, hold it in, squeeze it, not crush my mic and then take it out. Hold, pause. Exhale, pull it over. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hug into that left oblique, take it out. Good, you guys. So what I don't wanna see is this like chin to chest falling over into the shoulder. That's not pretty. We wanna be thinking still lifted. So even as you're tucking and folding in, you're still lifting up the shoulder blades. You're still reaching with the hand. Woo. Squeeze it in. Again, go slow. Same thing you've already done on the right. Beautiful job, you guys, okay. We're almost done with that core section. We're gonna take it into that lower body, but you guys got that side plank left to go. Last 10. Left forearm's gonna come down. Either left knee or on those feet, whatever variation you took on the other side. If you held back on the other side and you need to go to those feet this time, be mindful of that. Little push, little press. Forearm down in five, side plank in four. Three more for three, two, one. Okay, left down, take it up, hold yourself, lift it tall. Woo. Settle into it, settle into it. Press away with the left, reach tall with the right. Woo. 
Good. Again, we're not falling into the left shoulder. We're pressing up and away. We're using not just the elbow, but the full forearm. Plant into it here. If you're modifying taking that knee, I want energy all the way out through that toe. Woo! We wave it out in just five, four, three, two, let's go. Take it over. See how the hips lift as the hand comes overhead and then don't let them drop back down. Lift, scoop through the left side, keep it tall. Lengthen, again, again, three more. Woo! Squeeze it out. Don't speed it up just because I gave it a number. Hang on to it, breathe. Last one, you hold in pulse in four, three, two, let's go. Woo! Little pulse, little pulse, little squeeze. Good, you guys, we're gonna get those lunges going here. You ready? Right foot forward on the mat. Find that glider in three, woo! In two. And one, all right guys, we're taking it into an elevator lunge in three. Taking that right foot forward, I'm gonna use that mat for me. Take the right foot down, left foot back. Onto that glider, you reach it nice and low in four. Here we go in three, two, let's go. Down low. Woo! Hold low, slowly climbing it up. Good, so I'm facing, using that edge of the mat. Keeping the hip parallel to the wall in front of me. Dragging through that right heel on the way up. So I want us to find a little bit more of that hamstring here today. So it's gonna be more of that escalator type of a lunge. Essentially from the bottom. Rather than just feeling like you're stepping onto the right, I want you to feel like you're pulling that right knee, whew, that right heel underneath you, squeeze it, taking it out. Good, you guys, good, you guys. All right. We're gonna pair this up with a single leg squat. So meaning it's gonna be one as they're pulling through up to the top. And then we're gonna immediately take it out to that single leg squat, moving that glider in five, in four. Hold it down, hold it down. Come up just over that halfway for three. Two, point that left toe out. Point that left toe out, drop it down. Single leg squat. Slowly climb it up. Stop before the top, sit it back down. Good, so we're gonna spend whoo, the same amount of time we did warming up that lunge, warming up this single leg squat. So again, getting down low. Hold over that right leg. Stop before the top, reach long. Good. You can press those palms together. You can do whatever you need to do, but those hands are not on those hips. Cool? All right. Reaching down. Big inhale down. Big exhale drive. Pull it up. Again, stop before the top. Take it right back out and away. Breathe and squeeze. Woo! There we go. Last 10. We're gonna go ahead, pair this together. One lunge, one single leg squat. Let's go in three. Take it in center, two, right back behind you. Drop it back. Lunge it back. Take it up. Keep the bend, send it out for me for four. Three, two, hold, take it up. Then straight back. I'm gonna go back to that mat right here. Woo! Hold in low. Standing through. Again, we're here. So this is our lunge sequence to warm up through that leg good and strong. We're gonna hold it low. Woo! Switching to that heavy band for me. In eight, seven, you meet me for a runner's lunge. In three, two, one, okay. Finding that heavy band. Bring it on the front of the right shin and on the back of the left hamstring. Taking it down to the mat, nice and low right here. Front of the shin, back of the hamstring. Now, if you do not have a heavy booty band, you have a lighter one, you might have it on the front of the ankle in the center of that left foot. Either way, the band is parallel to the floor. Ooh, and it gets heavy. Pushing out and down through that front leg. Scooping underneath, hold pause. 
Exhale, push it out. Reach, hold. Inhale. Take it in. Pause, hold. Do it again, push it out. Woo Reach it through, yes you guys. All right, I'm gonna come up with you. Sparing it out, giving it that second angle. That left hip's gonna naturally wanna drop. Pull it center, take it low. Good, now as I'm pushing back that left foot, see how it's not coming cross behind? I'm not doing this little cross body. Feet are parallel out, pushing back and away. Slowly scooping it back underneath, pull pause. Drawing and getting that left shin to come in like it does in that fail. Woo! 10 seconds left and we're gonna pulse. That pulse is coming in the form of reaching with that back left leg. It's that halfway in five, four, three, two, hold down an inch, push it back, one hold. Now just little inches out one. Take it in one, breathe, Woo. out one. There we go, hold on to it. Get that chest up. Do not put too much weight in that back foot. You're going from that right, keep it strong, push it out. Woo. Breathe it in. Amazing job, you guys. All right, all right, we're here. 15 seconds left. Woo. Breathe it out, we squeeze it out for five. Going into a squat with the skating here in three, two, one. All right, bring that band up just around the quad. My left toe stays onto that glider. Drop the booty down, squat it low. Anytime you come to the bottom, you're gonna push it out. Give me that skating at the bottom. Come in, keep the left heel up. Take it up over the halfway. Drop it back and down. Flatten out the foot, push it away. Again, I know there's a few things I cued right there, so let's hit it together. Squat it down, down, down. Push it out, reach, hold. Pull it in before you rise up out of that squat. Sit down one more inch. Come up for four, three, two, you hold. Take it down. Hold, cross and breathe. Abs stay tight. Woo. Pulling it in a little inch by inch. Yes. Driving through, stop before the top, sit it back and down. Press and breathe. Beautiful work, you guys, come on. Fight for it. Drop it down, let's go, take it up. Woo, right back down. There we go. Nice, so we're gonna be here for a little bit, especially since we're bringing two movements in together. One with that squat every time you're holding, fighting. Keep the, the right toe light. Keep the outside of that right heel heavy. Pulling it back and in, get low. Woo, don't lock out those legs at the top. I know it's tempting, but you gotta hold yourself in that time under tension. Let it get that cardiovascular work. Holding into it little inches. I promise you guys, I got you here. Whew. So one of the things about me doing the whole workouts with you guys is I promise I don't keep you guys in things longer than you need to be. I don't wanna be there either. <laughs> All right, hang into it. Woo! Push it out, squeeze it off. Yes. Right back down, let's go. Good, you guys, we're gonna go ahead, add that little piece of work. We're gonna finish it out with those flamingo squats. Woo! Through that right side. Keep that left heel up, let's go. It's here, it's here in eight, seven, six, pull it in. I want 30 seconds, just right here. Drop. Cross, drop, cross that left heel up. That band is tight, can you scoot it out another inch? Lean over that right foot, Woo. Push it through, 15 seconds, let's go. Good. It's coming down to the mat. Woo. We're going hip bridges with a crunch in four, in three, in two, one, take it down for me. Take it down to the mat. Keep that band right around the outside of the leg. So you're gonna go ahead, pull it around the quads. Booty lift as you come down, come up and crunch. Woo, heels down. 
squeeze it up, take it down, crunch it in. Little recovery for those legs with that sit up. But even as I'm pulling in that sit up, my feet are wide, pulling it deep into the back of the glutes. Tuck it up. Drive those heels through the ground, squeeze the hips up. Take it down, crunch it in. Woo. Feet are nice and wide. Those feet need to be outside those hips for me here. Take it out, breathe it up. Yes, if you are not feeling that outer booty on that crunch in right here, if you do not feel that, I need you to draw those knees in. I need you to push out even a little bit more. Keep the band wide as the hips come through. Woo. Crunch and press. Yes, you guys, for 10. We're gonna take out that crunch. Get those hips tall. Three, two, let's go. Little squeeze. Woo! Little press. If those hands need to come down and flat, you do so. Little press. Taking it up for 10. Woo! Push it up. Breathe it out right here for four. Press it out wide. In three, two, let's go. Push it out. Go press. Press. You are trying to snap that band for me right here. Press it out. Push it strong. There we go, there we go. Don't quit. Woo! Good. In five, we're gonna pulse it up. In three, two, hold it out. Little tucks, little squeeze. Squeeze. You should feel like you are just clenching in that booty like you're making a fist. Drive those heels through the floor. Push into them, get higher on those shoulder blades. Woo! 10. Nine, we get ready. We're gonna finish out with those straight leg back donkey kicks for me in three, two, one. Final piece of work onto that right. Last 60 seconds on that right leg, kick it out. Slowly hover that knee in. Stop before it comes in, press it out. Woo, push, hover, hold, drive it out. Good, you guys, so this donkey kick is going straight back behind you. A lot of the time we turn out that leg, I want it just straight back and down. Woo, hold in. Press it back. Drive it. Pull it back in. Yes, you can. Reach. Breathe. Woo! Take it down. Squeeze. Amazing job, you guys. Go reach. Breathe. Woo! Finish out that booty with a little shake at the top. Just hold. Lift it up one more. Just hold. Stay right here. Last 10 seconds. Woo! Amazing work, you guys. We're gonna go ahead, pop it up, hands and toes. You give me a set of push-ups on those knees or on those feet in three, two, one. Take it up, hold it there. Let those bands just come together. Hold the knees, now drop it low. Push it up. Squeeze it, pause. Take it right back down, get low. Woo! Take it up, squeeze through those hands. Oh. Taking that focus away from just that right leg. Bringing it back into the core, back into that upper body. The next section we got to get into is that upper body. Wednesday, you with me? Go lower. Push it up slower. Breathe. Breathe it out right here, last 10. Woo! We got just five. Find that light resistance band newspaper in three, two, one. Good, so slide that booty band off. Find that light one for me. If you don't have a light band, use this set of hand weights. Elbows come in tight to the side of the body. Move down for this one here. Tight to the side of the body, thumbs are up to the ceiling. We're pulling out against that band right here. So that means those elbows are glued in, pulling back through the deltoids. So right into the back of that shoulder, hug it. Hug it in nice and tight, sit tall. Woo. Take those hands in, stop before they come inside the elbows. Take it out. Reach and breathe. Oh, nice and sweaty right here. Woo. We get a zone in here. You guys are well over halfway. 
I want you to come into these upper body and know that this upper body section is going to be working both right and left sides. It's not like those legs where we get to isolate out one arm at a time. So that means you put double effort woo, to letting it work. Each movement's a little bit shorter in time, in duration. You move strong. Pass it out. Good. We're going to flip those palms to the ceiling. Same motion. Flip the palms up. Pull it out. Feel the work move into the bicep. Pull it open. Woo! Feel that chest. Bring it out. Hold. Pulling it in. Yes, you guys. Squeeze. Now, if for some reason on those knees you need to sit into a chair, you can sit in a chair and do this. The only reason I don't usually cue this standing up, if you do, take a really wide stance for me here. Because I don't want you rocking back right and forth. That's why I like the knees underneath you. We can't shift that weight. You just gotta hold with it. Woo! We're gonna hold it out in just another three. Two, hold it, little passes. Get those thumbs, get those hitchhiker thumbs out. We're gonna take it behind the back in three, two, one, right into that chest opener, guys. So taking that hand, I release it from one side, reconnect underneath the other. Pull back, open with the chest. We're still into the upper back. You're still pulling back and down with that posture, letting those hands come in. Stop before the band would touch the booty. Pull it back. Woo. Good, so I want you to see the difference. We are not doing this, this is a tricep k rack. We are opening and expanding through that chest. So if you don't feel that stretch along the front of the chest, maybe ask yourself, can you push the chest out a little bit more? Send the sternum forward and pull back and down, reaching through. It's like you're trying to fold in half at the center base of your sports bra, and then taking it right back to the side. And again, press it out. Woo. Push through, take it in. Again, again, press it out. Y'all ready? Hold it back in four, three. Little kickbacks here, just press. Press, so I'm pressing out. I'm going up, out, and back. Everything for eight, six, for four. Now we take those tricep kickbacks in three, Two, one, turn those palms. I want you to face those palms in so the pinky edges are coming towards each other. Woo. Take it down. Pull it out, squeeze it out. Good, you guys. So you can take it here, facing those palms together, but in the effort of keeping with that posture holding open, can you get those thumbs to face out and away? Woo. Pull it up, squeeze. Again. Pull it back. Reach. You're going to feel the inside of that shoulder right there. Right along the chest. Woo! Push it back. You hold it again. Squeeze it in. Take it back and away. Because you guys hang on to it. Woo! We're going to come into a set of tricep push-ups in front of us here. Take the band around both the wrists. In three, two, let's go. Take that band, I want you to put both those wrists into it right here. Woo, in the shoulder. All right, so you can do this from the knees, taking it down, pressing it up right here. If you do so, I want you to actually rock forward that weight. See how my feet are coming up? So it's that little seesaw action to push through. You need more, bring it on up. Up to those hands and toes. Woo! Hold. Press it right here. Good. Now with that band around your wrist, it's going to have a movement. We're going into a tricep. One front shoulder raise in four. Woo! In three, two. Every time you take it up, I want you to reach, pull that hand up against that band. Alternate. Press through that tricep front shoulder raise. This is that one time we're separating out the work, going right and left. Woo! So that's the front of the shoulder. Keep that core in tight. You better believe that core is lifting. Again, right here. Take it down. Woo! Press it up. Squeeze. There we go. 
Hug it up. Good. 20 seconds left. Woo. Are you ready? Last but certainly not least. In five. In four. Hold it up for me. High plank in three. Two. Hold it there. Little tap tap right. Center. Left. Take it center. Right. There you go. You're reaching. Taking it in. Feel that back. Feel the lap. You can walk those feet apart. Woo. Or you can hold those knees down either way. Reach. Center. Reach. Woo. Breathe. Yes, you can. 10, 9, 8, 7. Find that glider. Low lunge here in 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys. Ditch that band for me here. You've done it. You've done the routine. You got that left leg to go. Hold it down low. Always. Always. Three, two, let's go. Take it up. Two, three, hold, take it right back down. Woo! Squeeze low, squeeze low again. Stop before the top reaches. Lengthen through. Now be careful. That knee is not coming over that front heel. Pull back knee up. Squeeze it out. Woo! You're such a smart puppy. He's like, foot, mom, I didn't want to be there anymore. All right, hanging on to it. Pull it up and squeeze. We got just another 10 seconds. Go lay down, baby. Woo! All right, guys, hang on to it. Lay down. If you want to stay, you got to lay down. There you go. Show everyone how smart you are. All right, guys, we got just another six. We're going into that single leg squat. Woo! All right, so it's going to come right on out. In three. Take it up in two. One single leg squat. Hold it down. Pull for four, three, two. It's slow. Take it out, reach. Drop into it. Stand through. Squeeze it up. Again. Right back out and away. Woo! Hover, hold. Taking it back. 25 seconds right here. Remember, this is our lunge warm up where we're getting that single leg squat. We're in the back of the leg. We're pulling through that hamstring on the way up. Last 10 seconds here. You get ready. You're going to double them up. So one single leg squat, one lunge right here in three, two, let's go down low. You are so good at being in the way. Hold it down. Slowly climbing it up right here. Take it out to the side. Woo, what are we not doing? We are not locking out that leg. We're holding strong. Hold steadfast. Take it down. Inhale. Exhale, pull through. Good. Take it out. Woo! Reaching it low. There we go, right back in. Each one coming up strong for it. Breathe it out. Woo! 15 seconds on this clock. You with me, Wednesday? We got that runner's lunge coming up for me in just another eight, seven, six, five. Find that band. Three, two, move quick. This is your speed portion. How quick can you get into that next movement? Front of the left shin, back of that hamstring. Drop it down low. Meet me in those 90s. Push it back. Wipe the sweat and the fish up. Pull yourself right underneath that right knee comes under. Push it out straight back behind that right hip. Take it back in again. Woo! Hold it down low again. Push it out again. Extend it with it. To keep those hips centered. Woo! Right there, dry it off. All right, let's have a little chat right here. We are finishing with legs today. That means you're coming into this already tired, but this is the tail end of your workout. You do not stop moving. You give yourself that challenge. And you remember how dang sweet that child's pose feels. When you allow yourself to get lower, push into that hole. Bring it out halfway. Three, halfway. Two, halfway. Little pushes out an inch. Woo! In an inch. There we go. Out one. In one. Get low with it. Get a dog in the way. There we go. 
Amazing job, last 10. Come on. Get lower for four. Full range in three, two, go. Go. We got three of them and we're right into those squats. Deal. Woo, we're going to get that flamingo squat with that skating in four, three, two. Take it down, down. All right, pull that band up onto the outside of the quad. Drop it down. Push it out. Reach it. Pull it in. Get lower. Come up. Just over that halfway. Right back down, all the way low. Woo. Push it out. Slow. Slow. Down an inch. Take it up. Keep that little bend. Holding low. Goes, you guys. So again, you can always use that mat to help keep the body centered. So when I'm using this mat, I'm making sure my left shoulder is in line with my left hip, knee, second, third toe. Woo. Breathe it. Breathe it. You're here. Come on, Wednesday. I want you to fight for it right here. Oh, remembering that this strength you carry with you. This mental strength, our body, our minds that we are building to allow ourselves to push a little bit more, to ask for more. You deserve it. Push into it. Woo! Pulling it in. Are you ready? Five. We're gonna hold it low. Give me that flamingo squat. 30 seconds on it here. High heel on that right. Go. Go. Don't quit. Get lower. Hang on to it here. Battle it out, you guys. Battle it out. Woo! We're coming off those feet. Down to that mat. In just eight. Seven. Oh my goodness, everything is shaking. For four, you take a down donkey kicks in three, in two, and one ditch that glider. Take it down to the mat. Press it back. Draw that knee. Hover it in. Exhale, drive through that heel. Woo, squeeze it, hover. Press back, breathe it through. Hold it. Hover, hover, hold, press it out. Woo. So dang targeted into that glute right here, guys. Pump day, let's let the booties work. Again, drive through, push it out. Take it down. Woo! 10 seconds to move. 10 to hold. Meet me at the top in three, two, hold it. Hold it, hold it, and just let it shake. Let it be exactly what it needs to be. Put energy through that heel. Reach the crown of the head. Come on, lift it up one more inch for five. Turn it on over in three, two, one. Woo! Hip lift. With that crunch, here we go. It goes booty up, booty down, knees out, abs up, plant the heels again, repeat. Take it up, Woo. Take a crunch. I want you to draw those elbows to those knees. As you curl in, go to touch them. Pull it back out, squeeze it up. Woo. Press through. Do you feel the outer glutes? If you don't, remember what you gotta do. Turn the knees out even more. Opening just into like your little happy baby at the bottom. Woo! That's what I really should call these. This is your happy baby. Woo! It should be a happy booty though. Ooh, happy booty, how do we feel? <laughs> All right, take it up. Squeeze it through, pick it up. Press. Woo! Pull it up, squeeze, again, again. Take it up, cross. Take it up, squeeze. Hold it at the top right here, a little squeeze. Whew. Squeeze, lift it up, lift it up. 10, we're gonna hold, crossing it out in three, two, hold it. 
Bring your final piece of energy. I need you to reach deep right now. Reach deep inside of you, and you're gonna bring the most energetic play to me. We're gonna take it over onto those hands and toes in four, three, two, it's here. Hands down, toes up. Woo! Little lifts right and left. Kick, drop. Kick, drop. Kick, drop. For four, leave the feet. We reach the arms, you reach it out, down. Woo. Reach, lower. We're gonna combine it in five. Opposite hand, opposite leg in three, two, you go. Reach, plant it. Woo. Cross, squeeze. For eight, seven, six, yes you can. Five, all the way through. Four, three, uh, two, one, hold it. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, child pose. Woo! You done did it. You done did good Wednesday. I'm gonna turn that music down. You hold that child pose. Ooh. So, whew. so, so good. You guys, way to stick with that, way to get it done. Not an easy sequence, and you guys came in it. Oh. Gave yourself that chance to just breathe it out and get it done. Nice, you guys. We're gonna open up with the chest first, and then we're gonna bring it into the legs, okay? Take those arms overhead. Woo! If you're grabbing that sip of water, whatever it is, don't worry, just meet us whenever you're ready. Oh, let's turn it oh. Take it up, bend it over, reach and feel that through the outside of that left rib. Oh. I feel easier with one leg than the other, even faster. Yeah, um, whenever you go into it, sometimes it's like, you guys did the same amount of time on both legs. <laughs> I won't tell you how long it is, because you guys are gonna hate me. Actually, when I, you guys did 12 minutes on each leg, just so you know. <laughs> Woo, but sometimes it does that, one side feels either than the other, pull it up, take it back. Reaching it up and over, take that right hand across. Ah. Yeah, so a lot of the time when we do that, I feel that too. Like one side is stronger, whatever you come into. Yeah, you guys crush it. <laughs> I know, if I told you guys at the beginning of our leg sections that you guys were gonna be doing 12 minutes of legs, you guys just would've been like, I'm out, I'm signing off. I don't wanna cover my mic, so just cross up your body, cool? So if I'm pulling mine out, I want yours against your chest. Hold it out, Woo. Good, you guys. All right, take that right hand all the way back. Whoosh. Holding strong onto that there. Good, you guys switch it out, left side. Let's stretch out the legs. Yeah, you don't wanna know. I'll only tell you guys after. I'll never tell you going into it how long you guys are there. Lunge into it, hold it down, keep that right foot forward, hug into it. Send those hips forward. Woo. Press up against that right knee. Pull into that. We switch it up. Oh. Woo. There we go, taking it back over. That's my job though. My job is to hang out with you guys and distract you guys for 45 minutes. So hopefully it feels like it's going fast. You can kick that back foot up if that feels good. Pull back into that hamstring. Perfect, you guys go ahead and alternate, switch it, bring that left foot forward, lunge it down. Woo. Thank you guys for your time, thank you guys for your energy. Please drink lots of water, love on that body, do whatever you gotta do today. Woo. But bring in a little bit of gratitude with it, just that you can, that it's in that day. Oh. We're gonna take those last three of gratitude together. 
just taking that stretch over. You guys got two stretches and then we're gonna take it down. Pull that hamstring back. Point it, turn it right and left. Sit the hips back and down. Hamstring is one of those ones I don't like to just static hold. I kind of like to just wiggle it around, see whatever I'm feeling. All right, sitting both those feet forward for me right here. Take it in that last piece of gratitude, guys. Big inhale all the way up to the top. Laying it up and over. While you're here, take a second, close your eyes. I want you to visualize something you're grateful for that you get to do today. Bring into mind some love to that person you're a little extra grateful for today. And as you slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time, looking in at your beautiful self and bringing in gratitude for that breath in your lungs, those skill sets that you have, those beautiful things about you. Thank you guys so much, as always, for letting me be part of your self-care. Love you guys. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you guys so, so much. Uh, how do we think these routines up? Uh, well, <laughs> it's kind of like putting the, together a formula now. Um, for a while, I used to have to write out like all my routines all the time, but now I kind of like have different formulas that I'm just like, we're gonna piece into this and go with this. So um, it's actually probably been one of my favorite things of writing routines while um, I'm doing the movements with you because sometimes as an instructor you plan it beforehand but um, every now and then when I'm in a workout with you guys I'm feeling something and I'm like gosh we've really hit that oblique in these two ways and I really feel like we need to hit it in one other way so like I might change a movement um, I do that a lot in our classes I'll add in something that wasn't there or I'll replace something else um, if I'm like no like we already did a lot of work through the outer glute like where do I need to change it up because I I can just connect and feel it with it. So it's been one of the fun parts of like working out with you guys is I just feel like I can be really mindful of that stuff. So um, love you guys. I will see you guys Friday. Friday, 8.30 guys. We're going booty with a little bit of abs. So we'll break up some of the glute movements with the abs. And then, and then we will um, Sunday, 10 a.m. Yes, those are what we got going on. All right, bye you guys. Have a great, great rest of your guys' Wednesday. Oh, love you guys. I will see you guys soon.